Hi, I'm Lisa Gualteri. I'm an assistant professor at Tufts University School of Medicine. I'm going to be talking about how to conduct a formative evaluation for a health app. Let's say you've got a great idea for a health app. Unfortunately, a great idea isn't enough. You need for your actual app to be appealing to people, usable for your intended audience, and you need to actually help them in achieving their health goals. And how do you do that? Well, if you just go and design your app, develop your app, and then list it in your app store, by the time you get your feedback, it's gonna be too late. And formative evaluation is a way of testing from the earliest stages, even ideas can be tested using formative evaluation. You can test with paper prototypes, you can test with mocked up apps, and you can test with early versions that perhaps have some paths uh, implemented, but other paths not yet implemented. You test with people who are as close as possible to your intended audience because it's a great way to get feedback. So you might think that the best way to get feedback from people is to actually have people use your app in a naturalistic setting. So if it's a fitness app, they're at the gym, they're on a run, whatever. But in fact, that isn't the best way to get feedback for two reasons. The first is, then your app is already developed and making changes will be much more costly. And the second reason is that when people use apps, they're typically not talking. They might be thinking, but you don't know what they're thinking. When you conduct a formative evaluation, you encourage people to use what's called a think aloud protocol. So you ask them to talk about what they're doing and you ask leading questions. And the questions that you ask have to do with, what do you expect? So what happens before you do something? And then asking, and then someone does something, and then you find out, was that what they expected? Does that, um, is that what they wanted? And then you can figure out, is this app actually accomplishing what you want it to be accomplishing? So the basic idea with a formative evaluation is that you're testing and verifying all your design decisions. That might sound daunting, but you don't have to do it for absolutely everything. You do it for the things that are really key to the success of your app. And so some of that might be the input mechanisms. Can people figure out how to accomplish routine tasks? Do people like it? Is it appealing? Is it something that they want to keep using? Would they recommend it? Would they actually give you a great rating and review? So the process for conducting a formative evaluation really involves a lot of planning. You're coming up with a script, you're recruiting people who are as close as possible to your intended audience, you're running sessions, you're recording sessions, either with a scribe who's taking notes, with an audio recording or a video recording, and then you're going through the results, you're figuring out what you learned, what the key points here are, and then you're figuring out how do we act upon it. So you could have small changes that are really easy to implement, but you might discover some things that are really major flaws in what you've done. And then you have to figure out what are we gonna do? How are we gonna change that? How are we gonna fix it? But it's important to do if you want your app to be successful with over 31,000 health and fitness apps listed in the app stores, uh, at the, the latest data that I've seen, then you've got a lot of competition out there. So this is what's gonna help you to be successful at doing it. I've got a paper that describes the process in detail, how you create the script, how you go through all the stages of planning, how to recruit, um, why using a scribe can be advantageous, how to compile the results and so on, and that accompanies this video. So I'm Lisa Gualteri, I'm an assistant professor at Tufts University School of Medicine, and thank you for listening.